So welcome back to Hugo's Big Blue World. Today we will be talking to sharkologist Colin Lachlash. He used to study great white sharks in South Africa and here at Hugo's Big Blue World. We love all kinds of sharks. Now a cool fact is that him and his team found a, a new way to attach Quiddle Cam to sharks, to all large sharks. They came up with this clamp that attaches to the shark's first dorsal fin and the camera get, goes right above the head like this and it gives you the point of view as if you were sitting on its head. How cool is that? You, you, you studied great whites. I, I mean, did. like, we have to throw you on. <laughs> what would you say is the most endangered shark that you know of? Well, that's, <laughs> they're all all really endangered. Uh, I do know specifically about a, a shark species that we used to use uh, in my biology class that I teach now, which is the spiny dogfish. Uh, and we used to dissect them in my biology class uh, because we thought that these were uh, what's called bycatch. I mean, they were caught uh, accidentally when other fishermen were fishing for other things. Yeah. And then we found out that there was actually a targeted fishery. They were fishing for these things directly, and they're a really, really endangered species. Yeah. So we said, no more, and we don't dissect sharks. Well, because it's small, only about three feet long, one meter long, mm -hmm. when I see a big shark that could eat them, they curl up in the ball and put a shark tail at it to try and scare them away. They also find safety in numbers for the pack of hundreds of male spiny dogfish sharks. They're like, Hundreds of them. Most sharks are pretty small, and they, those are the ones that don't get a lot of attention. It's the big ones that everybody knows about. Because of the blue shark sharks being killed, mm -hmm. the meso predators are like the ways it skates are like taking over, right? The small sharks. Meso meaning middle. So this is something that uh, has been discovered over the past couple of decades and really documented well is that ecosystems and communities, biological communities, are really interlinked. Your, or, all the organisms are linked together through their interactions, whether they're predators or prey or competitors, or whether they interact with each other in other ways that aren't necessarily direct. Yeah. And if you change the behavior or the density, how many of them there are of a certain species, that will have an effect on the other organisms that it interacts with and change their behavior or change their density. Yeah. And so if you take away the organisms at the top that eat all of these things, well then nothing's eating those mesopredators anymore. And they'll take over and, and they the can the ecosystem and all out of whack. Exactly. Like, yeah, so this brings us to some things that might seem a bit complex in the marine food web. But they're actually quite simple. So how could people pitch in to save these species like the cute little spiny dogfish <laughs> are being threatened? Well, that's, that is a, it's a tough question to answer because day-to-day uh, -day lives, most people don't do things that really have a tremendous effect on this. Trying to steer away from eating shark or yeah. certainly specific things like shark fin soup. On the menu, if you see something called, I think, rock salmon, or rock cod, or something like that, which means actually dogfish. What does happen? So, thank you so much Entirely for my starring. Pleasure. I'm willing to talk about this with you anytime. If anyone out you watching you is a shark lover, then please hit a comment and please subscribe.